Two Centuries of Indian Print, which is the project for which I'm working on, is a multifaceted project, and it involves many stages, um, namely digitization and scanning. There's also metadata creation. Um, we are also searching for a solution for optical character recognition to make the books full text searchable, as well as creating an on online platform to host the books themselves. Um, and then the final stage is user engagement. So each of those areas actually brings its own challenges. Uh, so the scanning itself, um, sometimes we will receive scans that require reworks and we have a dedicated quality assurance person um, working on the project whose job it is to actually um, trawl through all of the images and meticulously uh, judge as to whether they are suitable for uh, online preservation and storage. So they're looking out for certain challenges such as um, wavy text, distortion of the image, um, is it blurred, uh, is it overexposed, etc. Now that's not particularly unique to Indian um, language, that's um, really an issue that could affect any digitization project. Um, but something that is more specifically uh, a challenge around in the arena of Indian languages is obtaining optical character recognition for Bengali. Um, that's something that we've tried to address with the project uh, by running a competition. And this competition um, invited international users, uh, researchers and institutions to work with our digitized images in an attempt to obtain um, optical character recognition, machine-readable text for the Bengali. Really, that competition surveyed the state of the art in OCR technologies for um, Indic languages. If our project receives further funding and we can actually digitize more of the British Library South Asian printed books collection, then we'll also be looking at um, mechanisms for OCR of not just Bengali, but other Indic languages as well. So, uh, there were other challenges with the digitization around metadata creation and particularly some of the metadata that we received initially, um, the transliterations of the titles from Bengali into English um, and Latin script rather were incorrect so that required our team of catalogers to address that and correct the transliterations. So, um, but really we have a dedicated team with different areas of expertise working on uh, the digitization. So that helps bring all of these different experts and elements into place so that the project can, can progress. Well, I can say more about the project as well. So Two Centuries of Indian Print <coughs> is a major digitization, mass scale digitization project at the British Library um, with the intention of eventually digitizing all of the library's South Asian printed books. Uh, we're starting with Bengali. Um, that's actually material that has received a lot of international attention, especially amongst Indian academics, so it was an obvious place for us to start. And we also had fairly robust metadata aside from the transliteration issues. So uh, the project will be digitizing 3,000 Bengali books to initially and putting them up online, um, hopefully making them full text searchable, and also making the data sets fully um, accessible and openly accessible to digital humanist. Actually, these books are being made available for the first time, and many of them are unique and rare, so they're only held at the British Library. In fact, most of them are not held at all in Indian libraries. So it's very important that these books are hidden no more. Um, in the past, researchers have only been able to access them by coming to the library and looking at the physical copy. Of course, for many South Asian academics who are based on the other side of the world, that's a huge issue. So what two centuries of Indian print is one of the main benefits, at least, by making them available online, is making them far more accessible to um, that community of scholars and researchers. And in terms of the content, again, it covers all kinds of disciplines, academic disciplines that you can think of. Um, there's material on um, social, religious, political history of South Asia in the region. Um, it's predominantly strong in the 19th century at the moment, but if, as I say, if we extend the project, we hope to actually uh, make at least two to three centuries worth of material available online as well. Yeah, there's a, a number of highlights in the collection. Um, there's the railway book um, that we've digitized, and that actually has um, material and timetables of the earliest railway uh, journeys that took place in India once they were established. So 
Um, I quite like that book. We also have a series of animal biographies as well, which are extremely interesting um, and also visually engaging as well, so they contain illustrations. Um, but there is just a huge array of topics that are covered throughout the books, too, far too many to mention here. Um, in terms of the project, like, I'm fully engaged really with try to, trying to obtain the full text. And so working with kind of Indian partners and institutions here who are involved in OCR technologies is something that's um, exciting to be part of the conversation with as well. So I'm, I'm especially excited about that. And generally speaking, just um, really pleased that this project can actually bring the material to life online and to and make it discoverable to researchers in India. So. We'll be working with the National Digital Library of India as, as well. We've signed an MOU with the NDLI, which we're very happy, happy about. And that was signed in December last year uh, by Dr. Christian Jensen of British Library. And it's really exciting to see the NDLI resource come to fruition and as an aggregator of digitized content around India and elsewhere so that anybody, researchers, um, educationists, um, general members of the public can actually access resources from their own homes anywhere um, through mobile app on different platforms. So we're excited that this project's underway, that the British Library content will be linked to from the NDLI resource and that should drive traffic from our behalf to our digitized content and also serve as an excellent portal for um, academic researchers of book history and South Asian publishing history to the Bengali books that will be really made available for the very first time online. I'm sure there will be uh, further opportunities for collaboration um, further down the line. At the moment we're fo focusing initially on the Bengali books at the British Library to make them available through the portal. But uh, we are hoping through the project to extend our digitization, as I mentioned, to other Indian language material as well, held at the British Library, very valuable books. And we, of course, would like to make everything that we digitize that's suitable for the National Digital Library that fits in with that kind of ethos to be made available through the portal as well.